just popping in with another random surprise midweek video. I'm loving doing these, just like dropping in with something that feels a little bit more bite-sized, a little bit more casual, a little bit more on the fly, um, and they're gonna be a bit more on the fly. I hope that's okay if they're these little midweek bonus ones. Um, today is like, uh, my hair isn't even dry yet, but that's okay. <laughs> Cause we're on a bit of an old school YouTube revival here. I kind of jokingly was like, look, I'll, I'll do what's in my bag if you want. And one of the most thumbs up comments on my last video was like, no, no, like we're serious. Please can you do <laughs> what's in my bag? So that is what we're doing today. Um, but I thought I would beef it out a little and I've got every single bag that I own on the bed right now. And I thought I would just kind of go through because although I joke and I mean, you could always buy a bag, right? Like, am I gonna get through the year without buying a bag or adding a bag to my collection? Probably not, but it does feel very well-rounded. It feels like it caters for every single occasion. I don't feel like there are huge gaps in it. I don't ever put an outfit together and think, oh my gosh, this outfit would look so much better with insert bag here. There are bags that I like the look of. The Celine Romy bag, it will forever be on my mind. <laughs> the Savette bags are gorgeous. I'm in love with those. Like, would I say, would I say no to like a sage green Celine Hobo bag? No, <laughs> definitely not. And I love the Dragon Diffusion bags. I was in Liberty the other day and I saw them and I was, perusing around, they're gorgeous. They've got some really beautiful shades and different shapes. And I love that style of bag and I've loved it for many years now. But ramble over, it, it feels good. It feels very me, very cohesive. I'm super happy with it. So I thought I would talk you through what is in my everyday bag, but then we can just discuss bags in general. That sounds fun, right? Again, this is very much podcasty, put this on while she jump in the shower. <laughs> this can be this can be your background noise for this evening, the day, whatever. So one thing I will say about the everyday bag is back in the flat I did the Marie Kondo um bag drawer and I had a drawer that like like a kind of smaller drawer that I'd open up and I kept my purse and like a phone charger and kind of all my bits and bobs and then I would pack my bag individually every day with what I needed from that drawer and I, I do kind of love that approach and I have to say one day I would love to go back to that approach we just that's just like not the setup that we have where I keep my bag so I don't currently have that but I would go back to that again and actually just for my life right now to have everything ready to go in a bag like I know that I can leave the house with this bag and it has everything that I need in it this this remains packed and that feels like right for me right now um and then when I take a different bag I just decant everything out of here um it's the lower V puzzle bag the small puzzle bag in the midnight navy which means that it's got lovely black details like this strap here and then the actual strap is black yeah the actual strap is black and then everything else is this really really deep navy that honestly reads quite black on camera um gold detailing I think this might be my eighth year of owning it like it, that's kind of crazy that eight years later and this is still my most used bag my most loved bag um yeah I mean when I bought it it wasn't half as expensive as it is now um would I buy it I'm not sure I like love the new style as much as I like the old style um but yeah it's been it's been a good investment for me um I'd say the only wear on it is around here I don't know if you can see that but there's some pulling on the leather on that side and on that side as well but aside from that like even the bottom of it like I mean it could it, it needs a little condition it's been a while since I've given it a condition and a clean but overall like very very good considering like the battering <laughs> that this gets on a weekly basis um so let's talk you through back pocket back pocket is where I like to keep two things so I just always know where they are and that is my keys and airpods they're always in there so they're just easy to find but in the bulk of the bag is where I keep the bulk of my goods. Um, I feel like people, when they do this, they're gonna be like, oh, I haven't I haven't tidied it out. You know, this is this is really, truly what's in my bag. Um, I, I tidy my bag out, not necessarily the minute I get home. If I get back late, I might just like throw it on the side, but I'll do it in the morning. I just like to keep things neat in that way. <laughs> you know me. Um, this is everything that lives in here. There are two internal pockets, like one on each side. It'd be really hard to show you that. Um, but I don't really keep anything in those. I just use the bulk of the bag. Considering I've had this for so long and I've never got it professionally clean, there aren't any major stains or anything in there. Pretty chuffed with that. Um, I do keep my Olympus. This is the Olympus Mewtwo. This is the film camera that I use. 
Um, I do keep that in there. I've taken seven. I haven't used this for a month or two, so I've got no idea what those seven pictures even are. Um, but I feel like if I don't have this in my everyday bag, then I just don't use it. So the amount of times I'm out and about, and I think, oh, this would be a really nice thing to take a photo of, and I, I've got my camera. Um, so yeah, this is what I do with photo albums these days, because when you have a child, you take a million photos and you kind of want to print them all out. We don't, and we only print out what is on like my film camera, what's on Mark's film camera, and then we put those into photo albums, and that's our way of kind of documentation and keeping photo albums quite edited. And having this in my bag means that I get all like the special moments, you know, like the Christmas days, but I also get just like popping to the shops or a cute moment at the park as well. You know, I get everything that way. Um, my sunglasses. I own two pairs of sunglasses. I've got like a tortoise shell pair. And then I've got these. These are the Ray-Ban RB2140, I think. Just like the classic Wayfarer style. And I just have them in a little case. So those are always in here. Um, I've got my purse with my cards in it. And then I keep, ooh, I've got actual money. It's very rare that I have actual money, but I have £14.70 in there at the moment. Gosh, that's really exciting. I never have cash. Hmm, well, that is a little something. I was looking for this receipt. Okay, that's that's good to have. But yeah, the rest of it is just cash and some loyalty cards like Space and K. That's it. <laughs> the rest of my loyalty cards I have on my Apple wallet. Like get your supermarket loyalty cards and all those sorts of things on your Apple wallet. Because the amount of times I was, you know, out and about and they're like, oh, have you got your Waitrose card? Have you got this? I was like, oh, no. <laughs> but now I have it all on my Apple wallet. That was like a morning of just reorganizing my digital wallet felt really good. Um, and then I've got this little Chanel pouch, which just keeps bits and bobs in. The bit that you're probably gonna be most excited by, obviously. Okay, from a practical perspective, three tampons. They are going in there. And also um, a pack of tissues. I'm very close to the end of that, but just like handy, practical to have. Um, Compied, like the little blister plasters. Um, I feel like I don't use these all that often because I'm like, I kind of forget that I have them, but again, handy to have. Um, also the Beauty Pie Good Hands anti back Gel. I really like that one. It smells really nice. A pen. These are my favorite pens. These pens, if you ever find somewhere that sells these pens, I love them. I have them in basically every single color and they're just mm, such a nice pen. So pen. Oh, I got sent this recently, a Ruby Hammer um, mini nail file. I mean, this is not an essential. Quite a lot of the time, if I'm going to London, I've got like a, my laptop to take with me and then my water bottle and I'm like taking a lot of stuff with me, I'll be like, do I really take a nail file with me today? <laughs> Probably not. I will do a bit of a decant of a few of these things and just take up like the real true essentials. Um, but it is really annoying when you're out and about and you've got like a little jagged edge. So there you go. Oh, this a merit mirror. This is on my way. Very chic. You've got magnifying on one side, normal on the other, just handy to have. I don't actually carry any makeup around aside from a summer Fridays lip balm, that's it. Um, quite often if I'm going to town, I'll just like, I don't know, what would I throw in? Like a concealer? I'd probably throw in like the Ilia or the Glossier. That's probably it, quite honestly. Like maybe a powder if I was in for like a long, long day. Um, but yeah, I'll just throw any additional makeup bits in as we go, rather than like packing a makeup bag to take with me everywhere. A mini Glossier U, I will always have a mini fragrance with me. Um, I just used up one of the replica when the rain stops, but I don't think you can buy that individually have to buy it as a pack and I'm not so crazy about the other two in the pack so I've gone for my Glossier and then this 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 is like my favorite thing in the world I love getting this out I love being like oh would you like a mint um I picked this up online I'll link it down below for you I think this is one of my like most clicked on things <laughs> ever it just feels like me in a product um I found it on handbag packing TikTok. If you haven't entered that realm before, I highly recommend like people who like open up basically a whole wardrobe and have miniatures of everything and then pack a bag, completely fascinating. But they had one of these and I was like, oh, I do actually really need that. Um, so I've got mints on one side, just a classic mint. Or if I've got them from the US, I love an Altoid. Altoid? I think that's how you say it. I'll pop those on the side. Um, then we've got uh, some scrunchies. I've got like the uh, the silk ones in here, but also some thin ones. And then up here, I've got a few hairpins and paracetamol, Nurofen, that kind of thing. I'm a girl with gut problems. So Imodium, very important. And then also just like earplugs. <laughs> this is also used if I'm ever going away. I just know that I've got my spare pair of earplugs. I sleep with earplugs. I can't live without them. Or if you're just like somewhere and you just, 
you want to get the noise just down a little bit. I'm very affected by noise. So I'll always make sure that I have a pair on me. Um, so there you go. That goes in there, in the bag, zip it up, and the bag is good to go. Um, I will say I'm really into like taking my water bottle with me at the moment. I've got like a smaller swell one and then a bigger, I think it's called a bottle, mm. bottle green, green bottle. It's really nice. Um, so actually when I want to take a water bottle with me, the swell one fits into this, but the bigger one doesn't. Um, and quite often if I'm going to London, I will take my laptop with me. So this is definitely more of a like around town, errandy bag. Um, but yeah, I love it so much. It's a good little Mary Poppins number for me. Right, let's talk bags. So the way that I store these bags, they're kind of grouped by, I don't know, bag family already. So let's talk through them. This is my smaller bag family. So I feel like these for me, obviously the lower they has, you know, top handle crossbody is very practical in that sense. Some of the others are slightly more dressier. I'd put them as more of like fashion bag, outfit finisher, giving that bit of polish. Well, I don't need to take too much out with me. So these probably, I'd say these three maybe aren't used as much as some of my bigger sort of tote bags, but they're nice to have, they're nice elevators to an outfit. Um, the Cezanne Milo bag. I really love this bag. I think the brown of it is really nice. It's very deep, chestnutty brown, rich and warm, just fits in my wardrobe really well. Um, I've had it for quite a while and used it quite a lot and I don't feel like the leather has got too scratched up. It's a, it's a smooth leather, but it doesn't look too scratched. And also I, I quite like when bags like look a little bit loved. I personally prefer that, so I don't mind that at all. You've got a little bit on the back, which is quite handy for like train tickets, that kind of thing. And then I can fit a decent amount in here. I can't fit as much as my Loewe puzzle bag and it is very structured. So you're kind of confined to what you can fit in it in that sense. Um, but I still can do a day in London, but probably not with a water bottle, not with my camera. I have to be a bit more edited if I'm using this. You can change the strap length to be crossbody, but I love it just kind of tucked under the arm. Like to me, oh, that's like when, when it just goes under your elbow, that is such a nice chic length. It's kind of a bit of a waist cincher in. So I feel like I use this bag to be more polished. This is a bag that I do not use enough. And that makes me really sad because this is a Loewe, again, a puzzle bag, but this is their shoulder puzzle bag. So it has this thicker strap. I've also got it in the black. I've also got it in the black. Has this thicker strap that goes to a thinner strap at the top. Um, it's then similar to the puzzle bag in that you've got the little kind of mini pocket on the back. Um, and again, you can fit quite a lot in them. Size wise, they are longer, but kind of the same height. More of a baguette, <laughs> baguette <laughs> style bag. I don't wear these as much as I'd want to, mainly because if I'm kind of doing the everyday bag, I'll just grab this one. And like I said, quite often, if I'm going to London, I need additional things. But if ever I'm doing something a bit dressier, I mean, I just want to, I love the color of this. I love the color of this. But yeah, these are definitely two bags that are loved, but not necessarily used as much as they could be. Maybe that could be a little challenge for me over the next year or so is to get a bit more wear in these bags. And also I feel like they almost look a bit too perfect. I want them to be, this one has a bit more of a slouch to it. I, I like that slouchy look. So there you go. It's a little challenge for me this year. These two bags also sit in that small bag section, um, but they are used even less because they are in the small bag section, but they are my fancy bags. We have two options here. We have a plain option and a fun option, and also an older option and a newer option. Um, the Chanel wallet on a chain, I wanna say that I've had this for almost 10 years now. I might be stretching that a bit and over-exaggerating. Um, I do love to wait for exaggerate, but I do feel like I've had this for a really, really, really long time. Like if you remember when I bought this, like, thank you. We go, we go way back. Um, the Chanel wallet on a chain. I bought this because it was the cheapest bag in Chanel. It is, it is literally a wallet on a chain. I can fit, I can fit nothing in this. I can fit barely my phone and my keys and like, you know, a card or something and like a lip balm. That's, that is it. But to be fair, for a clutch bag situation, that is all you need. Um, and I'll say there's a good couple of times a year where this is this is it. Like if I go, if I'm going to a wedding, if I've got any kind of evening event, there's a high chance that I'm wearing this bag. I love that you can double up the strap and you can do like double strap, so it's more just under the arm. You could do it cross body. You could just wear it over the shoulder long. I kind of tend to just sort of 
hold it like oh it's me and my chanel i don't think i will ever own another chanel bag i think this will be my one and only which is fine we're one and done but it's beautiful it serves a real purpose in my wardrobe and yeah it just makes me feel very 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 fancy whenever i use it <laughs> then this i picked up from the hostel late last year um because i just saw it and was like i'm sorry <laughs> she's perfect um, i think i've told the story before that i got it out and I like came in and showed Mark and was so proud of it and he was like oh you've bought Ralph a handbag <laughs> it's tiny it's so tiny um if I had tried this on in person I probably wouldn't have bought it because it doesn't fit my phone in which is very silly um so I have worn this out before and then had to like put my phone in my pocket <laughs> which is so silly I did wonder I was like I wonder why this is still for sale on the hostel website it's vintage Loewe um, and like a good price of vintage low and I was like I wonder why that's still there like stuff sells out really quickly and I'm like oh it's because people have looked at the measurements I, I I did but I didn't take into account for the fact that it wouldn't hold my phone but of course this was made back in the day pre-phones um pre-needing to carry a mahusive giant tablet like phone in your bag um but I really like it you never know one day maybe I'll go back to a small phone it would definitely fit in Maybe I could borrow Mark's phone for the night. <laughs> that, that could work. Um, but it's just so, it's, it's perfect. It, well, perfect aside from fitting my in. Um, and it's really just, it's nice to kind of have this. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's nice to have the plain fancy bag option and then the not so plain fancy bag option. So these live in their dust bags next to the other small bags, but are way fancier. Okay, the next category, bags that get a lot of use. Um, so now we're moving into bigger bags, which actually, it's funny, I don't feel like I always used to take my laptop on the train, but now now I, if I'm going to London, I just like to have my laptop with me. Like I can, probably because I do a bit more sub stack these days and I, it's so easy to like sub stack on the train. That's like almost an hour and a half on the way there, an hour and a half on the way back um, that I can be tapping away or answering comments and I just find it so much easier to do those sorts of things on my laptop over my iPad or my phone. Um, so all of these fit a laptop in comfortably, um, my water bottle, everything that I need for like a day in London. I tend to do like two, three meetings, maybe an event or two. So it tends to be like the whole day. So I just, I like, I like to be prepared. I like to feel like I've got what I need with me. Um, I'd say probably the most practical out of them is this. This is from Celine and this, this is a hobo bag, but it's called, it's called something different. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head, but it is, it's like called the zippered pocket hobo bag or something. If ever you're trying to find it, it's, it's a tricky one to find. I only ever have seen it the one time <laughs> that I bought it. I think I got it off of Vestier and I just loved it because it's like black, a smooth black leather, but um, not like one that's easily scratched. Gold detailing, really, really big. And I love that it's zippered. I love that safety aspect of like, right, it's zipped up, it's under my arm, but all good. Um, all of the hobo bags have these um, poppered straps where you can take it off and make it long and crossbody if you so wish but I tend to just wear them <gasps> oh I thought I had my water bottle then and I was I've actually lost one of my water bottles I was like wait <laughs> no water bottles in here no it's not oh that's sad where did I get to oh yeah I was saying I tend to wear it shorter and wear it under the arm um I bought this as my push present so this is two and a half years old now and this feels like a very good buy like I wear this a lot it's in really good condition. This was one of my good secondhand purchases for sure. So all of these are secondhand buys. I think they're all from Bestier. Yeah, I think they're all from Bestier actually. I find Bestier has the best um, Celine Hobo bag selection. Um, I guess the Real Real is kind of just behind that, but all of the ones that I've bought are from Bestier and I've never had a problem with them. Um, which one should I go for next? This one. This one, you know me and the Hobo bags. Like we have a bit of a problem last year. I actually sold my gray one. I sold the like navy and black one. Uh, this is all for charity. What was the other one? I'd bought a burgundy one and not realized the size of it. I really am bad with, I, I need to be better at checking the sizes of things for sure. Um, the size, it was it was huge. It was way bigger than any of my hobo bags. And I was just like, I just, I don't know. I had a bit of buyer's regret with that one. So I, I, off, I offloaded a lot of hobo bags last year. These are the three that remain and I feel really happy that these are the three that remain because like a tan, like just, a, this one's really slouchy. This has been really loved. I gave it 
such a good clean and such a good condition when I got it because I'd say this was in the when I say in the worst condition it's not that it was in bad condition but in the worst condition out of all that I'd purchased from them just in that it had been really loved which is totally fine and it was well described in that way so I knew what I was getting into and I kind of I love that it's got that slouch it's really buttery it's just been used and loved it tells a story um but it's got the gold detailing that I love I just look at it and it makes me really happy for me this genre of bag really fits into my wardrobe really well um but this color also fits into my wardrobe really well I really really like it so super happy with that one and then this was my most recent purchase um late last year maybe my favorite one I've worn this so much I just saw it and was like <gasps> Oh my gosh, that is exactly what I want. This really like warm snake print, like it's absolutely stunning. Same setup as the other hobo bag that I have, but like a, like a stiffer, stiffer fabric. So it, it feels like it looks bigger, but it's not. I've actually just held them up to each other. I've been like, I'm sure that brown one's smaller, but it's not. It's just that this one is a much stiffer fabric. Um, it's in really, really, really good condition. Like, what's this even used? <laughs> Um, whoever had this looked after it really well um but yeah i feel like this this for me if i'm going to london and i need a real pff, outfit finisher this is what i've been going for i love how this looks with every single outfit okay we're getting there two more categories left um we've got like summer in a minute um and then these i'm putting in the category of like big tote bag but textured these add texture they add like something to the outfit I will say that this Cezanne, I think it's called the Romy bag. I mean, it has that snake print as well, but the reason why I've kept both in my collection is this has more structure to it. It's a bucket bag bottoms. So it's got that circular bottom. It does fit a laptop in. You kind of slide the laptop in the middle and then you get space on either side. Um, but I do like this one because it just has that increased security. When you pull the straps together, it basically pulls the top of the bag together um like someone would really struggle to get their hands in there um when it is pulled together and the reason i've also kept it is because it's a it's a darker fabrication like it's not as kind of contrasty as the other one the other one is like whoa like making a big statement this one is a little bit more subtle um so a little bit more subtle a little bit more structured um but again one that i wear quite often when i'm heading to london i haven't worn this as much this year um i completely lift in this last year i love this last year this suede um over the shoulder like very slouchy very in a way like quite celine hobo -y. um but i really love the color of this i love having a bit of suede in my bag collection i don't have any other suede bags i mean the thing with suede bags is they're not going to be the longest lasting that's why i love like the kate lotus bag or something love love that style of bag but to pay two thousand pound <laughs> <laughs> no thank you um on a suede bag i'm like it's that is just not gonna last for me um i try to always wear it out on this side and then wear it in on this side this side close to my body you can see it's got like a few marks at the moment i've got like indigo jeans that are brand new that are just like going on everything <laughs> so i probably wouldn't wear those two together you can fit a lot in this bag this bag you can do laptop you can do water bottle you can do the whole shebang um yeah from our did i say it was from arquette it's the arquette suede curve bag i think they've bought it out in more colors um i think they've got some more suede colors i think they've got some leather colors as well um but just a very good i, I said it could be a good office bag actually because it does fit a laptop in um but just a good kind of everyday bag you can also wear it really easily like over the shoulder if you are if you'd rather um but yeah it has that kind of relaxed weekendy feel um, but also just adds that nice bit of texture as well. God, my hair's going to be dry by the end of this video. <laughs> it's been a good use of time. This is one of my favourite bags right now. This is one of my favourite bags right now. It's called the St Agni Woven Tote, Woven Leather Tote. Um, I picked this up, I think I picked this up last summer, but I've been thinking about it for at least three summers. Like, I, I, re I really, really love this bag. Um, I just love this genre of bag, this, like, woven bag, but woven with leather, ultimately, far longer lasting than like a raffia straw or anything um, and also easier to store because they are flat they're very easily like folded if you need to like i don't know it's very easy 
to travel with and to store. I don't find this ever gets in the way. Oh, I just, re I really love it. I love the color of it. It's, it's the same one that's on the website. I think they call it antique tan, um, but it looks a really different color to the one that I have, but it is the same one. Um, it's this gorgeous, rich mahogany leather, woven beautifully, has lasted really well. I've worn this a lot. Um, and also just, it fits a, a laptop in perfectly. I can fit everything I need to in it. Um, and I, I think this, it's really year round. Obviously bags like this feel very summer, but I've, I've been wearing this like all through the winter in a way that is kind of nice. It has that irony. It has that juxtaposition of like this with your big <laughs> black wool, heavy winter coat. Um, I think it works really nicely with that. And I think that's to do with the color. The color of it is quite natural, neutral. It works really well on my palette. Um, so yeah, love this bag. Highly recommend, I'm asked about it all the time. Everyone always thinks it's Dragon Diffusion. It's not, it's an Agni, and it is the same one that's on their website right now. I think quite often you have to pre-order them. They obviously don't make a load of these. Um, but yeah, I just pre-ordered it. When it was ready, it arrived, and I love it. Okay, we're close. Final category, oh, you can't see me. Final category of bag, summer bag. Um, I don't have too many summer bags because Anytime I've kind of gone down that summer bag route, I've ended up selling them. They don't feel very me. I had one that was like a, oh gosh, what was the brand? Stored or something? And it was, it was, it was like a yellow kind of bucket bag with these like acetate handles. And I was like, I just, I just don't wear stuff like that. It just doesn't feel very me. Um, but this, <laughs> if you, you followed me for a while, you would definitely have seen this bag. The Alien Nina, um, kind of a little, woven handbag it's so cute it's so cute i've had this for years as well i want to say like i don't know six seven eight years six seven eight years it's quite a big window but i've had this a really long time and this for me is my summer clutch bag it's it's really small like this is not going to be an everyday super practical bag for me but say i'm going to a summer wedding i might not necessarily want to go around with my kind of dark quite winter like um chanel bag i'll take this instead this is my kind of summer event going somewhere fancy little little tiny bag and the brand have like obviously seen that i've gone on and on about this bag for years and last summer they actually sent me this which was very kind of them i can't remember the name of it but i'll link it down below for you it's cute it's such a cute size it's almost i just keep referencing it it's almost lean hobo -y, you know but in this woven rope and um, texture it does have a little bag at the top, which I think, yeah, it has a drawstring, so you kind of can keep things a bit safer in there, which I appreciate. Um, but yeah, I thought, I was like, oh, thanks guys, that's so nice, I love it. Different enough from this, in that it serves a different purpose, um, but yeah, it's just a nice, even with this outfit, like, check it out with this outfit. Like, even with this, I don't know, I feel like it works really well. And then finally, finally, I've had a few different big kind of straw bags over the years, and I had a really, really big one. Um, from a brand called Wood Grey that is no longer around, sadly. I almost used it as storage <laughs> for all my bags. It was like so big and all of my bags could like live in it. Um, but I realized, oh God, I hadn't used it for years. Um, it was very much a beach bag for me. It was really, really big and really sturdy. So I could never pack it down. I had to like, had to be the one that I took on the plane. You know what I mean? And it was just a little bit too big. And yeah, just something something that I was like, I just don't really have much of a use for this, but I do still think it's good to have some kind of straw, you know, big bag in your wardrobe. But I wanted something that was packable. I wanted something that wasn't, that was like pliable, basically. <laughs> just like playing around with this. This one is exactly that, it's from Cezanne. I love like the thin leather straps. It's really, really light as well. My other one was a bit heavy. And um, I love that you've got these additional pockets on the side. It's just big. It's big, but it's also not overwhelmingly big. Um, it's just the perfect kind of, perfect tote bag size. It might not be my most worn bag, um, but I, I feel like I do need, there is, there is a part of my wardrobe, there's a little category of my wardrobe for summer, everyday kind of straw bag, take down the beach, throw everyone's stuff in it. Like this works really well for that. I've spoken for 37 minutes. <laughs> I was like, I don't have that many bags. I'm gonna talk about this in like 15 minutes. Um, yeah, well over half an hour later and <laughs> I probably could keep on going. Um, but thank you so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed that. Just like general bag chat, um, but also mini what's my bag, very, very old school. Um, I think this weekend is, 
I'm finally going to do my colour analysis video for you. So that's going live this weekend. And then hopefully after that, maybe like a vlog. Let me know if there's anything else that you'd like to see. Just shout. Um, oh, I've got a little, I think next week, actually today, whilst I'm shooting this, um, I'm going to do a working from home looks video. So keep your eyes peeled for that. I did a survey on my Substack and was like, do you wear jeans to work from home? The results are going to blow your mind. They're going to blow your mind. I've, I have a spreadsheet <laughs> everything. So uh, back to scientific data, I'm going to do a working from home outfit ideas video for you as well. So lots more to come, but shout if there's anything else you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with a brand new video. Bye.